What's coming on guys? Still come back again. Hope you are fantastic today. And as you've seen from the title and the thumbnail, this video is all about Hex, giving you guys an update on what's going on. Uh, these guys have just launched the sitting plushies. I also want to talk about the wizards and stuff and Mangle, how that's going and the future of Hex and how the Hex comics gone and stuff and etc. Like everything about Hex will be today. First things first are the beautiful Hexine plushies. We're calling them cuddly plushies uh, because they are freaking cuddly as heck. Um, and they've got beans in the butt. You obviously can't tell. I'll have, I'd have to cut Freddy's butt open, which we're not going to do. Uh, but they do have beans. They do have beanie butts. Uh, and they, So they can sit down. They're, they're, they're great. They don't fall or anything. They've got no magnets. A lot of people love the magnet plushies, and I really do appreciate that. Um, you can see they're basically the same size, guys. This one's sitting down, and this one's the magnet version. Thank you so much for supporting the magnet versions if you bought one. Um, but I completely understand, which was the biggest critiques on the uh, magnet plushies, is that they were expensive because of the magnets, right? I, I want to be, be as fair as I can for people. If people, if people don't want to buy... The magnet versions because they're too expensive for them we'll, we'll just release them without the magnets at a cheaper price it makes perfect sense to me um so here they are i did it guys i listened to you guys and i did it i did it the sitting plushies are out now hex dot store so the magnet plushies are 55 these are 35 so the 20 dollars cheaper which i think is a great price all of the magnet plushies had uh, a card a collectible card right um, so you guys can get the same cards with these sitting plushies. They're just sitting plushies. That's what they do. They sit down. You'll see the difference here with these sitting plushies, cuddly plushies, is that the material is the same material as Freddy. We decided to change the material on the other three so they're all together with the same material and it goes in line with the cuddly plushie vibe. We wanted them without the magnets, but still have a little bit of difference. So people who have got the magnet versions might be interested in getting the sitting plushies as well. So they all have a material change apart from Freddy. And guys, I'm telling you, they are so cuddly, man. I'm telling you right now, they are so cuddly. They all have the props as well, but they're obviously sewn on. They're not, you know, they're not magnetized. They're just stitched on. Uh, cupcake and the plate. Uh, the embroidered bib as well. Uh, I think I tied that. I think I tied the bow very poorly. Um, so you've got to be a good bow maker, guys. But but you can't really force them to stand, by the way. Just letting you know. You can't force them to stand. Uh, this is automatically just sat down like that. It's like these aren't mine. And I'm I'm doing a review on them. But they're mine. So it's really weird. It's, it's really, really weird. I think Chica looks the derpiest. But I love it. I actually love Chica's design uh, for the for the cuddly plushy version. Moving on to the beautiful Bonnie the bunny, looking awesome again. Beanie butt. Uh, you can't. Can I like do it in the mic? ASMR. You guys hear that? That's the beans, okay? Um, yeah. Again, guys, material change. Super soft and cuddly. Um, the guitar as well. Um, you can you can twist it, guys. You, by the way, I know it's sewn on, but you can twist it around and stuff if you prefer to have it. You know, if I want it flat like that or something, you know, you can you can kind of force twist it like that. There you go, like it's like that now. So yeah, you can you can twist it around a little bit if you want if you want to change the po like the po the pose of the guitar. It was flat like that instead. Like I said, they're literally the same plushie, but different material and sitting down and they've got no magnets at a cheaper price that, that, that's literally what they are moving on to foxy i think foxy looks adorable i really like foxy sitting plushie he's got his cuddly body he's still got the metal neck as well for detail on foxy his, his tufts now look even more fluffy his cheek tufts whatever you call them on the top of his hair don't like the fnaf movie foxy's cheeks in the movie are extra fluffy now well so are these so are foxes, floppy ears. Um, again, he's got the beans in his butt. Don't you worry. Um, so yeah, um, his hook was his prop, guys. Um, in the, in the magnet version, but obviously, sorry, buddy, your hook doesn't come off this time. So I guess I was like, oh, why don't we do ones that are sitting down so people can put them on the shelves and stuff, and they look really cute. We added the beans for extra quality and extra weight, so that you know they're not going to topple out. They are. They're not going to topple over randomly like a gust of wind <laughs> isn't going to knock them off. Obviously, they're going to fall off if you whack them. That's the wave one of the sitting plushies. And of course, in the future, 
Um, I'd love to do sitting plushies of Fredbear and Spring Bonnie. That would be awesome if we could do the versions of these sitting plushies and stuff um, instead of the magnets. But don't worry, guys. Magnet versions are still happening. If an have to, Wither animatronics are coming. We'll talk about that later on. Um, spring trap as well. Oh my god. I hope spring trap's gonna look amazing. Uh, looking forward to that. The design, guys, the, des the design of Spring Trap's Hex plushie looks awesome. Now, this is our first ever limited edition plushie. Like, you guys can get the Hex plushies whenever you want, unless they're out of stock, and then we, we'll we try to restock them. But this is our first ever limited edition plushie. You've probably, you, you've, you've seen it a bunch of times anyway. I've had it hidden in the background for ages. Well, not really hidden. The beautiful golden Spring Bonnie sitting plushie. Um, it's coming out soon, actually. It has the beans, don't worry. But yeah, it, it, it's a golden spring bonnie plushie. There's not, there's not much else I can say. It's a golden spring bonnie plushie. Um, I didn't want it to be fully gold. I wanted it to have detail as well. Um, so you can see here, like, the ears, the ears, the stomach area, the paws, hand paws, and the bunny tail are all like a bronze colour. So it's not, it's not technically a fully golden bonnie plushie. But I just wanted a different, a diff I wanted, I wanted a different metallic color uh, for the belly and stuff, so it looks a bit different. And I'm really happy we chose that because I think it looks better. Um, that's just my opinion, though, obviously. So yeah, there he is, guys. And of course, he sits down. Obviously, it is a sitting plushie. But yeah, this is our first ever limited edition plushie. It doesn't come with the Spring Bonnie card. It comes with a card that's got like a gold outline and gold text at the front and back, which I thought was really cool. Um, just to give it that extra, you know, limited, limited oof to it, you know? This one does come with a limited edition bag as well, which is really cool. Which which is also golden and bronze and stuff. Golden, spring bond. Look how, look how much it shines as well. Golden beauty. If we do any other future, like, limited edition things, it's not going to be like, oh, spring traps limited edition, you know? Um... Any of the main characters will never be limited edition. I won't. I won't let that happen. Things like special reskins and stuff like the the golden one. Maybe we could do a golden Freddy in the future, literally golden. But you know, I'm, I'm never going to make Spring Trap a limited edition or anything. So don't worry about that. Which some of you guys might not have seen yet, and I think these are absolutely adorable. Okay. Mini. That was my cute voice thing. I don't know what that was. Introducing. The adorable little... I don't know what we call these. Hex keychains? I don't know. Um, a Fredbear. Hold on. The Spring Bonnie. Spring Bonnie's coming. There he is. Wrong way. Turn around. There you go. So these are the... They're quite big, actually. They're still quite big. They're like these miniature plushy keychains, which I thought was a great idea. I absolutely adore these. Um, and they've got like a golden, a golden lobster claw keychain thing. I wanted them gold because it fits with the, you know, the golden era. Spring Bonnie and Fredbear. Um, but yeah, here's Fredbear, guys. Now, I wanted Fredbear to be derpy, like a derpy sad face to make him look really cute. I don't know why, but I feel like it makes him look cuter. He's got like a little derpy sad face. Uh, they also have, guys, 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 he's got his little paw beans. It's so small, you can't even see. Yeah, he does have it. Yeah, there you go. He does have his little paws, guys. His little paw beans. And as you can see, we did manage to get whiskers for Spring Bonnie. They're very thin, but they are there. Um, and his book tooth and his little bunny tail and the paws as well. Um, so, yeah, they're adorable. Now, if you, like, I'd love to do miniature versions of the of, of the FNAF 1 gang and stuff and other plushies in the future. Still quite big for little keychains. Um, and, you know, if you ever want to, I wouldn't advise it, but you could take off the... The, the chain and just have it as a little miniature plushie if you wanted to. Or you can just hide, you know, if you look here, it doesn't even look like he's got a chain until you lift it up. And I absolutely love them. I think they're the most adorable thing we've ever made with FNAF X, the FNAF X collab. And you can do things like this and torture them. So the, the mangle in the room is mangle, right? I know you guys, I, I see all the time, uh, everybody wants to know how mangle's doing. Ma we had our first mangle prototype uh, about a month ago? I think it was about a month ago. With the prototypes, they always start off a bit mid, and then we eventually just keep patching and patching and patching until they are spot on. The biggest challenge with Mangle, obviously, is because I wanted it to be literally Mangle, magnetic plushie of Mangle, different endo parts and stuff that you can attach and combine. 
uh, to make a really cool mangle. It's been pretty difficult to do that in plushy form, but I feel like we're on the right track, which is really cool. They've got something in them where you can bend the endo parts and you still use the magnets and stuff. What we're going to do with the mangle plushie as well is we're going to have like this support stand with it. If you guys want it to stand up to its full potential, we're going to include like a little stand and stuff. So you can, if you want it as a display piece, you know, nothing's going to happen to it. It's not just going to randomly collapse in the middle of the night. I want it perfect, obviously. So uh, we've, still got, we've, still got, we've still got some work to do. Still got some work to do on it. The FNAF 2 Withered Animatronics as well. Um, I got the first prototypes of those about a month ago again i think the best thing i like about the withered animatronics is how like the wires i said to the team like for the withered animatronics we've got to have wires hanging out threads that look like wires coming out of the um the metallic patches that we've done like withered freddy for example like wires are coming out of his web where we put like metallic metallic patches and some wires are hanging out and stuff um, for, for, for more detail. The same with like Withered Bonnie and Withered Chica. There's a lot of wires. It's not just like a few wires. It's a lot of wires to, you know, represent how they look in the games, right? Because in the games, I have a bunch of wires hanging out. So I'm really happy about that. You guys have recently been getting your Pop Goes and Candy Hex plushies as well. I have not seen a single bad review. Um, I think that's the first time ever. Because usually with launches, there's usually a few issues from time to time, which always happens in any plushie making company or any company. There's always going to be a few mistakes, unfortunately. Um, but the good thing is like you can just get a refund and email the hex support and they'll sort it. Which makes me really happy. Really, really happy that people are liking their, their, their plushies. And I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. Um, especially since the... FNAF, the toy animatronic launch didn't go as well as I wanted to. I noticed there were more mistakes than usual with that launch. They, they, did, they did sort out the issues that anybody had, which I'm really grateful for. I'm just one person, right? I am literally just one person. So you can imagine how some, sometimes when things like that happen, how stressful it can be because I, I can't really do much about it other than tell them to fix things. Um, and hope that hope that happens. It looks like they've fixed the issues. Pop goes and candy look absolutely amazing. All the all the pictures I've seen on Twitter as well. The quality looks ten out of ten. Spring trap. Oh, I want to I want to show spring trap so badly. Um, I'll give you guys like a little tiny piece of spring trap uh, of the of the concept art because I think it looks awesome. So the cool thing about spring trap as well, a bunch of wires that we're gonna have. Uh, just like the withered animatronics and hopefully Springtrap's eyes are going to be metallic a metallic silver instead of plastic uh, you know because Springtrap's got metal eyelids you know um, so I thought that would be a nice cool little detail to add a bunch of wired, wires and threads coming out and stuff so yeah fingers crossed with Springtrap I haven't had a first prototype yet of Springtrap but I'm looking forward to it the puppet as well. The puppet's looking cool too. The puppet's unique. So what we've done with the puppet is actually made the puppet super long and stuff and have magnetic arms and feet. You can't rip the body parts off the puppet because the puppet's so thin and stuff. We thought it would just be better to have um, the puppet as its own thing, just with magnet hands and magnet feet. Um, so you can like attach it to your door or something or whatever you want to do with it, make it cling on to something. Um, you can still give it a prop if you want to. Uh, but yeah, you can't rip off the puppet's arms and stuff. But yeah, the puppet, you can you can shape the puppet as well. Like you can bend the legs and stuff and it stays that shape. Very similar to Mangle's endoskeleton legs and stuff. You can bend them. Uh, the puppet can bend as well. I want to I wanna do some cool things. I want to make merch as well. Like uh, I really want to do like, uh, like Shadow Bonnie uh, hoodie. I really want to do like character hoodies and stuff. But still really, but like stylish at the same time. Remember the Kai hoodie? Everybody loved that. Um, and I'm hoping to release more of those in the future. Uh, when when we've built when we've built the brand when we've built Hex up more with more comics and stuff. We thought it would be really cool to do like a Shadow Bonnie version of that. So it's still got the bunny ears and stuff. It's a black hoodie, you know, around it. It's like really cool glow in the dark embroidery of some patterns of like Shadow Bonnie and stuff and like glitchiness and spookiness. Um, but we will talk about Hex a little bit. So the, the second comic just came out as well. Really happy with comic number two. Introduces the Spider Queen and Kai and Buttons go down into a layer um, and they have to sort, they have to, they have to help her out with something uh, whilst 
while Splitter, while Splitter and Zodiac are chasing after them. There's a bit of lore at the end as well. Some juicy lore. Really, really deep lore that I can't obviously go into. Um, but yeah, that's some juicy lore at the end of that comic, guys. Which will be leaning more towards in Chapter 3 and then the future. The elephant in the room is that these comics take a really long time to make, okay? A really long time. A very special artist of mine, Hero Shark, does the whole comic on his own. Um, so it can take a lot of time. Um, and I never want to rush Hero. I don't want to rush... I, there's no deadline. The comic gets finished when it, when it, when it gets finished. I never want to pressure Hero to finish all, a deadline or anything. Um, and I, I feel like that just adds to the quality and the specialness of, of, of Hex, in my opinion. The motion comic is coming out soon as well with all the voice actors from Comic 1. So don't worry about that. Really excited for that one, guys. I, I love the motion comics. We're slowly building it up. You know, it's very expensive to make comics. And, you know, if I ever wanted a cartoon in the future, that's very, 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 very expensive. Trust me. It's like millions to get, a, to get, to get one made. We've, I'm really happy with Comic 2 so far. Motion Comic soon. And then we're going to do Comic 3. And then into a Motion Comic. Kai and Button's next location is like this dog village. Which is really cool. Like a village that's been overtaken by dogs. Um, it's like this dog king and stuff. It's really cool. Um, but that will be Chapter 3. I have a big dream about Hex. But it's really hard to get that dream into reality. So I'd love a Hex cartoon. I'd love a Hex video game. Um, but we'll have to wait and see, you know. Maybe we can show these motion comics to Netflix or something and they, they might be interested, I don't know, to make it a full-fledged cartoon. Keep making comics with love, attention, passion, detail, um, instead of rushing them out. I, I, I want the comics to be perfect and so far I'm really happy with them. The, the art of these comics are insane. Like the detail, you can see that we love we love it. So, you know... What more can you ask for? If it takes a year to make a comic and it's perfect and beautiful and a, a piece of art, then nothing to complain about. It's perfect. That is it so far with Hex. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Maybe in the next charity stream, I can show you guys more prototypes and concept arts and stuff like we usually do anyway. Uh, but yeah, the sitting plushies are out right now. Golden Bonnie is coming out very soon too. Limited edition. And the keychains and stuff are coming out very soon as well. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Lots of love. Let me know your thoughts, please, in the comments. And I'll see you all next time.